We are moving into chapter four, which is exponential functions. So let's look at what function uh, characteristics it has. So it's non-algebraic transcendental functions. So it'll deal with the natural log and log and then also e. So let's look at f of x equals a to the x where a is greater than zero, a does not equal one, and x is a real number. So an example of this would be f of x equals one third to the x. Another one would be g of x equals one eighth to the x. Another one, h of x equals seven raised to the x. So see where your exponent is, or where your variable is, it is the exponent, so that's why it's called exponential functions. And you were first introduced to this in Algebra 1. So let's evaluate the following at the indicated value of x. So when x is pi, so f of x equals 2 raised to the negative pi. So we are going to use our calculator. Okay, 2 raised to the negative pi. Okay, so we're going to, let's do a couple of decimal places, uh, 0 0.11331. 0 0.11331. Okay, the next one, back to 0 0.02, so 50 e to the 4 times 0 0.02. You have to do second ln and then raised to the 4, 0 0.02. So this is syntax error. So I'm wondering why this calculator won't do it. It should work. So I must have done something wrong. Say 50 e to the 4. Okay, that works. So I'm going to try this. I'm just going to put times 0 0.02 and see if that works. Okay, that worked. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. So let's put that in 54.164. f of 3 over 2, 0 0.6, and then 3 over 2, 0 0.6 raised to the 3 over 2. Okay, we'll just go to three decimal places, 0 0.465. f of one third e negative three times one third which that would end up being e to the negative one right but we can put it straight in like that e raised to the negative three times one third let's see it's a syntax error. It doesn't like it. Let's try it again. E, e raised to the negative 1. Still says syntax error. It doesn't like it. So 
So I'm unsure why this won't do it. I wonder if Desmos would do it. Let's see if E and then E squared. Well, I need to refresh my page. Or my keyboard is not showing up. Okay, let's do this again. E raised the, let's do negative one. Okay, it works there. So it might just be this calculator on my iPad. So it is 0 0.378. Okay, so let's talk about the graphs of exponential functions. Create a table of values for the function, then sketch the graph. Identify any asymptotes. Okay, so the first one is 2 raised to the x. So we know that the f of x function is a to the x, right? So here our a is 2. So let's fill out this table of values. So this is going to be 2 raised to the negative 2. So if you remember your exponent rules, this would be 1 over 2 squared, which ends up being 1 fourth. 2 to the negative 1 is 1 over 2 to the first power. 2 to the 0, anything to the 0 power is going to be 1. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 squared is 4. So we have a basic idea of what our graph looks like. So let's plot it. So negative 2 Negative 2, 1 fourth. Negative 2, 1 half. So we know it's going up. 0 is just 2. 1 is 2. I mean, 0 is 1. And then 1 is 2. And then 2 is 4. So it grows exponentially. So this one is exponential growth. And our asymptote is going to be the dotted line that it never intersects. In this case, it's going to be y equals 0. That is our asymptote. It's never going to cross this line. It's kind of like a boundary. OK, let's go to the next one. e raised to the x. So our base is e. So E is approximately 2.718 using the calculator. So E to the negative 2. Let's see if it will do that. I don't know why it won't. Yeah, okay, that worked. Okay, so 0 0.135. 0 0.135 e to the negative 1. I think we did that earlier. That was up on one of our first examples. So that was 0 0.368 e to the 0. Anything to the 0 power is always 1. e to the first power is just e, which is a 2.718. 2.7. Let's just see what E is. E to the first. Okay, yeah, 2.718. 2.718 E squared.
7.389. Okay, so I need to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have an idea. Negative one, negative two, and one, two. So it starts out real low, goes here, and then it's almost at three, and then it's a little over seven. So extend this way. And our asymptote would also be at y equals zero. Okay, three raised to the x. So our a value is three. So this would be three raised to the negative two, which would be one over three squared. Three squared is nine, so it's one over nine. Three raised to the negative one, it's one over three. 3 raised to the 0 is 1, 3 raised to the 1st is 3, and 3 squared is 9. Okay, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it starts out real low like that, then 3 to the 0 is 1 then three, and then nine. So they all look really similar. I'm having to do the tick marks a little different on each one. Okay, so we have the same thing going on with our asymptote. It is y equals zero. Okay, let's look at 10 raised to the x. So our a is 10. So 10 to the negative 2 is 1 over 10, which is 0 0.01. 10 raised to the negative 1. Oh, that would be 10 squared, which would be 100, actually. Uh, 10 to the negative 1 is 1 over 10, which is... One tenth, zero point one. Ten to the zero is one. Ten to the first is one. No, ten. Ten squared is one hundred. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get all of this. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we know at least that, and it's just going to keep on growing. And this is low. So this one has the biggest growth, the fastest growth. And then our asymptote is the same thing, y equals zero. Okay, so on all of these, we had growth. So what this tells us is when a is greater than 1, we are going to have exponential growth. That's what we have seen here. So then the other thing that we would see is when a is less than 1, that's going to be exponential decay. So let's look at some exponential decay. Okay, we have one fourth x. So we know it's going to be decay. Oops. A, A equals one fourth, so we know it's decay. So let's see what that looks like. So we have 1 over 4 raised to the negative 2. So with negative exponents, 
the whole fraction is going to flip and that's going to be 4 squared, which is 16. 1 fourth to the negative 1 is going to be 4 to the first power, which is 4. Anything to the 0 power is going to be 1. See how it's decreasing as we go along? 1 fourth to the first power is 1 fourth. 1 fourth squared is going to be 1 sixteenth. So we have that, and then at 1, negative 1, it's at 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 2, it's at 16, and then it just kind of goes along the bottom. So this is what decay looks like. And we have the same asymptote. the x-axis, which is y equals 0. Okay, 1 fourth to the negative x now. So we need to go ahead and fix this because this really means 4 to the x because of that negative exponent. So this is going to be a equals fourth, which means we have growth on this one. So I'll let you go ahead and graph that one. Let's go to the next one. Five over four raised to the x. So that's going to be five over four is 1.25. So this will also be growth. I'll let you graph that one. 5 over 4 to the negative x is going to be 4 over 5 to the x. So this one will be decay. I'm going to let you go ahead and graph that one. So we've done several of these examples. So I'm going to let you graph that one, and then we'll check our answer in class. Okay, let's go to describe the transformations that would happen, and then sketch them by hand. Okay, so we have negative x raised, or negative 6 raised to the x. So this negative is going to make it where it's actually going downhill. But it's also a flip. So this is a flip reflection. And then... This is going to be up 3. This one's going to be up 3. So what we really need to think about this one as f of x is going to be like negative 1 to 6 raised, or negative 1 times 6 raised to the x. So the negative 1 is what determines the flip in the beginning. So normally, 6 to the x would be like this, right? So if it is a reflection, it has negative 1, it's actually going to go down like this. So it's a reflection. So I just want to know what f of 0 is. f of 0 is going to be negative 6 to the 0. Well, 6 to the 0 is 1, so this is going to be a negative 1. So it's going to go like this. Mm, I don't like that one. Let me fix that. So this is f of x. And then 
we would want to look at, so our asymptote is at y equals zero. So let's look at the other one. So this plus three means that this is going to be moved up one, two, three. And it's going to do the same thing. So this is g of x. So the asymptote on the first one, I'm going to do it in gray, is going to be y equals x. But the asymptote on the other one is going to be at 3 y equals 3, but the asymptote for f of x is going to be y equals 0. So the difference here, the asymptote, is coming from the plus or minus a number. This is the first one where the asymptote has been different. And we can verify these results in the calculator. So I'll let you do that. Okay, let's look at the next one. 0 0.4 raised to the x. So what is this going to look like? It's going to be one of those decay. Do we have one? We have zero, and we have one fourth, but it's just 0 0.25. So we know it's going to be similar to that. So this is our f of x. So what is x minus 3 going to do to our function? So what I would want to look at is f of 0 0.4 and then negative, or 0, sorry, 0 minus 2, 0 0.4 to the negative 2. So let's see what that is. Zero point four to the negative two. Six point two five. So it's six point two five. And then we want to do minus three. Okay, let's just see what this looks like in the calculator. I think that might be a better then we can kind of describe it better. So 0 0.4 raised to the x. It's going to be our first one. And then 0 0.4 raised to the x minus 2. And then bring it back down, minus 3. Now hit graph. Okay, so the blue one is our original. The red one is the new one. So it's, it starts up higher, but it goes down lower. It has a different asymptote. So it has several things going on. Okay, so it starts up at like three, and then it goes down like this. So the asymptote on the f of x, because it doesn't have a plus or minus, is at zero. But the asymptote on the function g of x has an asymptote and it's at y equals negative 3. This one has an asymptote at y equals 0. So this is a translate down and then this actually moves it right to. Okay, let's go to the last one. We have 1 fourth raised to the x, 1 fourth raised to the x is our f of x, and then g of x is to the negative x, and then the plus 2. So the plus 2 is going to tell us it's going to go up to changing this from negative x 
or two negative x is going to make it a horizontal reflection. And then it's up to. Okay, so our original one fourth to the x is like this. Horizontal reflection. Let's see what that looks like. So it's going to be one fourth raised to the X and then the other one. raised to the negative x. Let's just see what that does before we do the plus two. Okay, so see how it reflected across the y-axis? And then the other um, transformation is gonna be that plus two. So it's also gonna go up two. So our asymptote changes. So it's going to go, let me change my color. It's going to go up to it's going to go like that. You can look back at our graph. So it's a reflection and it's going up to. Okay, given the following asymptotes, construct a table of values for the function, then sketch the graph. All right, this is going to be what you will do on your own. So make sure that you do these two. We'll check it in class. And then also do these three up here.